Hello and welcome back to the second part in solving the problem of throwing a ball off a hill. So we have a hill that's downward sloping um, at beta from the horizon and we're asked what angle should we show, throw, off, throw the ball off the hill such that we maximize the range. And we set this up in the previous video by uh, uh, writing an equation that describes the trajectory of the, of the projectile. Um, and, and that's this equation here, the, this quadratic equation. Uh, and then we've also written another equation which describes the slope, the, the describes the hill. What's the, what's the line that describes the hill? We're doing all this in Cartesian coordinates. Um, and so now in, the next, in this video we're actually going to solve for where they intersect because that's going to determine, th by determining where they intersect, uh, we can solve for what is the x um, range um, as a function of all these parameters beta and alpha and velocity. So let's do that, okay? So we're going to set these two equations equal to each other. So we'll have x times tangent of beta equals x times tangent of alpha. Okay, I'm just you know reordering the this is all this is multiplication, okay? minus g over 2 v naught squared x squared over cosine squared alpha. And by the way, I, I forgot to, I think, add the square term for the cosine in the previous video. That's why you noticed that I just added, I, I, uh, there's a, a second, this additional color there. Okay, so let's solve, so by the way, first, let's, uh, let's determine how we can simplify this. So, one, we can get rid of the x there, rid of the x there, and get rid of one of the factors of x there. Okay? Then let's, uh, let's bring all of this to this side and bring the tangent to the other side. So I'm going to bring that over there, and bring all that on the, to the other side. So we're going to be left with g over 2v squared uh, x over cosine squared alpha equals tangent of alpha minus tangent of beta, okay? Then, solving for x further, we're going to get 2v naught squared over g. Now I have to multiply everything by cosine squared. So remember that tangent is sine over cosine. So cosine squared times sine over cosine gives us, gets rid of one of the factors of cosine, and then it will uh, will be left with a, a cosine. So that will be cosine of alpha sine of alpha minus cosine squared alpha tangent of beta. Okay? So by the way, let's um, Let's actually simplify that. So that's equal to 1 half sine 2 alpha, if you remember this from uh, uh, trig identities. Okay, so now let me actually just pause there for a second and let's discuss this. This is telling us what the x value is when the ball hits the hill as a function of the angle of the of the, the hill and the angle that you throw the ball off and the velocity with which you launch the ball. So clearly the faster you launch it the further it goes. That makes sense. But really the question is that let's say you can you can only throw at a fixed velocity. It's only as fast as you can launch it. But you can control the angle in which you launch the ball. Well if that's the case um, you're just thinking of this problem as, a fun as x as a function of alpha, because also beta is fixed. Beta is just what's the hill sloped at. So given that, this is, you know, this is a complicated function. I don't know, um, I don't know um, exactly how this looks. But generally, you often see this, is you'll see some equation where it might, it might do something like this, gets big and then it gets small or something. So there's some, this is, this is like in this case we're looking at x as a function of alpha. So at some point 
x gets to a maximum value before it's, you know, it's getting bigger, 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 it gets to a maximum value, it gets smaller, smaller, smaller. So at that point where it's a maximum, if we were to look at a tangent line to this curve, it would be a horizontal line, meaning it has slope equals zero. So in order to solve this maximization problem, we're going to take the derivative of x with respect to alpha. Okay? So dx d alpha, and then we're going to set it equal to zero and solve for alpha. And that's going to be the point at which we've optimized or we've maximized the range of x. We should always check our work because it could be that you're looking at the, like a minimum. But, uh, um, but this is the general approach you uh, can do in some optimization problems. Okay, so uh, let's take the derivative of this function. So dx d alpha is equal to 2v naught squared over g. Remember now we have 1 half sine 2 alpha. So that's actually, the derivative of that is 2 times cosine of 2 alpha. And then we have that 1 half that we had gotten when we converted this to 1 half sine 2 alpha. So those cancel. Minus 2 cosine alpha. And then derivative of cosine of alpha is minus sine alpha. And then that's all times tangent of beta. And then we're going to set that equal to 0. Okay, so let's continue on. So that's equal to 2v naught squared over g cosine of 2 alpha plus, this is cosine alpha, sine alpha. Well, we just converted that in the previous problem to sine 2 alpha. So quite neat, we get sine 2 alpha here. So 2 times cosine alpha, sine alpha is sine 2 alpha. And then that's times tangent beta. And we're going to set that equal to 0. So when this, this, when this part of the equation equals 0, we've actually optimized for alpha. So to do that, we get minus cosine 2 alpha equals sine 2 alpha times tangent of beta. So cotangent of 2 alpha so I've divided each side by sine 2 alpha equals minus the tangent of beta. So this gives us an equation and from which we can, given a beta, we can determine what's the max optimum in alpha. So imagine the case of beta equals minus pi over 4. So that's a 45 degree sloping line from the horizon. Let's just change color. So that's Oops, it's the, uh, 45 degrees. Okay, so this is pi over 4 or 40 or, or minus 45 degrees. So in that case, tangent of minus 45 degrees, well, that equals minus 1. So when is cotangent of 2 alpha equal to 1? Well, that occurs when 2 alpha equals 45 degrees. Or pi, you know, that equals pi over 4, so alpha equals pi over 8, or 22.5 degrees. Similarly, if we had something like beta equals, let's say, 60 degrees, so that's minus pi over 3, or 60 degrees, if we solve for that, we get alpha should equal 15 degrees, or pi over 12. Quite cool. So it's it's actually quite neat. So um, we now just solved a pretty complicated problem and determined you know if you're if you're ever standing on a hill and you want to figure out how what angle I should throw things off at, I have to solve this um, trigonometric equation to maximize the, the the distance that the object will go. So quite quite neat. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this problem and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.